Yeah. So I said, you know what? I reached out to, a, to somebody that I know, and uh, his name's Craig Epling. And Craig Epling works for General Motors, and he was kind enough to uh, send me out a uh, brand new Chevy Volts for a week. And uh, we're going to talk about a little bit today the good, the bad, and the ugly, if you will. Uh, you know, I'm driving the Chevy Volt around, and this is the first thing I have to say. What's the first impression, right? Isn't that what people want to know? Well, it is. They, they, they look at it. They say, what is it? How does it work? You know, so there's a lot of questions that can be answered by, you know, just driving it around. You get to know it a little bit and understand it. And, and like what you're doing now, I was talking about it. And before we get going here, give uh, uh, Reader's Digest about uh, what you do for General Motors. I'm the regional communications manager, so I'm... Covering, I'm up in Dallas, but I cover about a 12-state area. Is you know, Craig, this thing, the designing on this. How long is it was this in design, this vehicle? Well, you know, the, we originally had a design that was a lot edgier looking. Yeah, I remember. It was our show car, but then you find out when you put them in the wind tunnels that uh, you know you need aerodynamics because most of your energy is actually pushing through the wind. So you need something very sleek, aerodynamic. You know, with the coefficient of drag, as they call it, to be able to do that and Thus, you know, more of a picture, a shape of an egg would be something that the wind would flow over very well. And you can almost see a little bit of that in the vault, although it, it, it does have that look that you say is uh, sharp, almost sports car looking. It looks like General Motors really spent a lot of time and a lot of money developing this automobile because it seems like you guys didn't cut any corners. We didn't, and, you know, a lot of it went into that technology because if you're looking... So we've developed the gasoline engine for 100 years and got that pretty well perfected. And there's only so much more you can do with that. So what is next now? And this is a new technology that while you're driving electrically all the time, you've still got that range to get across Texas because I've driven them down from Dallas to, to Austin there without stopping. And you get that range capability of it. It still can drive electrically, but does have that range extender, kind of a backup generator, if you would. It allows you to go that distance. I mean, is there a sticker price yet? We, can I ask sure. what the what yeah, the going the, the, price uh, is going to be? Chevrolet Volt would uh, be forty-one thousand dollars, and then it has the uh, since it's an electric vehicle, it does have a tax credit, so you get it back regardless if you owe money or anything to the government of seventy-five hundred dollars. So net cost that way would be about thirty-three thousand five hundred dollars. But ultimately, Craig. You know, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you for allowing me to drive this vehicle, and I'll keep doing updates uh, while I have it the next few days. By and American, by GM. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Craig, for calling in. Well, you're welcome, and it was my, my pleasure. And you kept mentioning about Texas, and we've produced over 8.5 million vehicles right here in Texas. Oh God bless God. Texas. There you go. Thanks so much. Well, there you have it, Jim. 